Hi guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today we are doing my first Christmas Dollar Tree haul and let me tell you I was a kid in a candy store and we got ribbon, we got florals, we got signs, just different things, lots and lots of goodies. Stay tuned. you guys with my Dollar Tree hauls table is full so we're going to start with the biggest items and biggest items and bulky kind of are these wreaths that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and they're garland wreaths I got two of them but because they're kind of sparse I did pick up some extra garland pieces and I think they will work just fine Next thing is the snowman wreath. This is the first time I saw one of these guys at the Dollar Tree. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I was just like, ideas are already flowing. I cannot wait till I do something with the snowman. Next thing I got were these ornaments. I'm just trying to get them out of the way. And for the life of me, I don't know why I only took three pairs because I absolutely love these. Um, the only thing that I can think of is there weren't many and I didn't want to selfishly take all of them. So that could be why I only got three because I do a lot of ornaments. I did Christmas in July ornaments and people seem to love them. I'll link uh, that video right here. Um, so the next thing is one of these globes. I just picked up one. I'm not somebody who does many of these, but I did pick it up at, because I want to try. And then I got some little tiny um little christmas trees mini trees and so we got the little plastic globe we'll see what we'll do but i thought they were so cute then i got one of these it's a plain christmas tree on one side and it's one of these on this other side i don't know it's pendle pen holder pencil holder i don't know napkin holder whatever you want it to be DIYers always seem to think of some fun things to do with those. Um, next thing I have is a little tree skirt. I have a small tree that I usually show you guys ornaments on. And then, of course, the big one. So I thought I would um, buy one for the little tree. Next thing we have... <laughs> this smelled up my whole house, you guys. Um, are these little pine cones. And I bought two. This was in the potpourri section. They are potpourri. I mean, you guys, they're soaked with oh, pine salt or pine cones, something. They're very strong. I'm not saying they smell. They're just very strong. But the reason I bought them is they have these, I don't know if you guys can see, they have these tiny, tiny pine cones that I cannot find, like, in the woods. <laughs> I live by a forest preserve, but I can't find these tiny ones. They're usually big and broken. So I was like, I, I love using these tiny ones as little centerpieces on bows when I'm making, you know, whatever I'm making. And a lot of times in ornaments. So I did pick up two packs of those. Next, I did pick up a calendar. And this is like month at a view calendar. I like this to schedule. Um, I did buy one. If you guys remember my previous video, I did buy one. Uh, for my DIY with Nadia channel, but I have two channels. So I decided to buy another one for the other channel All right, so this is the first time I'm seeing this shape. I, I have um, Our crafter square has you know different shapes. It had the ovals. It had square like it had different ones But I have never seen this and I thought this was so Super cute and it's a nice size. It's a good seven inches. So really really cute and I was excited to find that then uh, some Christmas stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys. Actually, it's all Christmas stuff, but I'm just so excited. All right, behave, Nadia, behave. Here's a Mary sign with a little deer right here for a Y. How, how smart is that, you guys? Seriously, so smart. But I thought this was so super cute. So I picked up one of each because there's so many of those signs that you can do unless you're going to sell them, you know? So the second one is Peace. And I picked up one of those. Then you know how much I love 
to do like flat DIYs as in like sign DIYs Christmas tree so I picked up a few of these uh, quite a few um, little Christmas trees and just the possibilities are endless endless how I can decorate these right so um, then I picked up some ornaments same thing they're wood but they're little you know little one of those I don't know what this teardrop shape or whatever you want to call it um, ornaments and I picked up a few of those I was obsessed with the Christmas trees when I saw it I have to admit um, then I picked up sparkle and shine it's Christmas time I'm getting so excited you guys look serious I'm getting so excited by the way Christmas has begun in the crafter world because Olivia's romantic home already has Christmas stuff so I'm getting ready to have Christmas in my house my husband is just kind of okay but yeah we are getting ready for Christmas in my house and this is probably one of the last times you're going to see fall decor in the background I got off track a little bit talking about Christmas but back to the game here here is a cute little sign I thought I just thought this one was so adorable more wooden sign you guys more peace on earth who wouldn't love that after a crazy year we've had peace on earth peace on earth I got two signs of this then I picked up a snowflake one just one of those um, and then I picked up oy, oy, oy. we have fallen we might have to take a break so I can pick up whatever fell back there but um, I got one of these signs and says happy holidays if you guys remember they had a very similar long sign for uh, Halloween or fall so what fell were these jars, you guys. This is the first time seeing these jars at my Dollar Tree. So I did pick up three of these because we can definitely decorate them for Christmas, right? Look at this. If you look in the back, it's just clean and beautiful. The next thing I got was this house, kind of the same as the jars, but a little home. Very cute. I mean, really very cute. Next thing is I love using these little signs from the Dollar Tree in a lot of my projects. And so I did pick up three of these because as soon as Christmas kind of starts, they are all going to disappear. And I don't want to run out like I didn't fall. I had to run out and get more. So I got three packs of these and they say peace, joy, and believe right there. The next thing I got were more letters. I am absolutely in love with these letters. And if you were a teacher, I'm going to insert a picture right here. There are different colors, styles, you know, fun ones for the kids, for the classroom. So I, I always pick up the black ones, obviously, but there's many options and many of these um, that the Dollar Tree has. I think Dollar Tree really does well with the uh, letter stickers. Okay. Moving on, we are going to, do, these are felt stickers, and look how cute. There's different styles, you guys. I picked up the gingerbread ones, and I thought they were so adorable. Um, then I got some more stickers, and these are wooden stickers. There's also a few styles of those. We got snowflake stars and little Christmas trees. I'll show you guys it really close up. If you do glam DIYs, you guys, these are gold. These are sparkly gold little stars. And so stinking cute. All right. Um, more wooden uh, um, things. This is ornaments. And these are little, oop, little Christmas trees. And they have, they're very holy. <laughs> But you can definitely dress this up and make this so super cute. I absolutely think this is a fantastic idea. Next thing I picked up, I don't know why I got two packs, but I did, are two little trucks. And I think mainly I did it because trucks go so fast. No matter what it is, if it's on a towel or if it's on a board, trucks go fast. So I did pick up two packs of these truck ornaments so I can decorate other DIYs with it. And you know, for country Christmas, I can actually just hang these on my tree because that's the theme that I'm doing this year is country Christmas. Okay, you guys felt stickers, just snowflakes, just elegance at its best. 
white with a silver little, uh, I guess it's like a flake on the inside. Yeah, like a tiny little flake on the inside and a felt on the outside. It's just so beautiful, so elegant. Um, then I picked up this vase filler and this is sil these silver little balls. Very, very pretty and cute. Then I did get a few of these. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, they are in the party section for Halloween. So if you ever want to get these, in my Dollar Tree, this is the only time to get these. So I did get a few of those. Oh, I don't even know what to do next. We are going to finish up with a lot of ribbon, as always, you guys. But next, let's move on to the flowers. So I did pick up some berries. The berries, I was not too impressed. I'm hoping they're going to get more. So these are just silver sparkly berries. I was looking for the white berries. Hey, beggars can be choosers, right? So I did get those. And then um, just to show you a few more. Now these are kind of, they're brown with kind of looks like they were just little snowflakes on them very pretty like snow just drizzled on them like if it was like this on a tree it was just the just snow was just laying on there very elegant very beautiful more silver coming up this one is like almost like a new year's kind of silver it is on the branches it's absolutely gorgeous stunning if you do glam christmas this is what you need to be getting because this does not look like a dollar um, branch. This looks like a $2.99 branch that we get at Michael's or other stores like that. Next thing on the list is these guys. Very, oh, another silver one. Well, I'll put this on this side. Now, this one's silver, but it has like this iridescent um, sparkle to it. And it is really, really pretty. I love doing like white iridescent silver iridescent on my little christmas tree so i got these and this is supposed to be a silver fern very very pretty then i got these now these be careful buying these these have like the bigger kind of like they look like little crystals and i picked out the one that was filled the most you guys these break off so quickly but I, I really took care of them with bringing them home because I can definitely see myself using this on a wreath or somewhere like that. And it's nice and filled. So just look for the ones that are filled. What can I tell you? Alrighty, next berries. I got these red berries. And same thing with these berries. You have to see how this one has like no, no silver on there. And then you look at this one and it's like silver. And I guess this one has it on one side, not on the other one. And this one's more, it's like, it's not bad. This one's really nice, but this one is not, you know, not so much. But I thought I'd show you just so you know um, that they are supposed to have silver, but it doesn't hold in so much. So what I do recommend you guys, if you buy one of these branches, spray paint it with some uh hairspray so at least it holds the sparkle if you know that silver sparkle is important to your decor now my favorite okay second favorite um i'll show you the favorite next my second favorite um uh, thing i got there are these frosted fern um branches they're kind of like the silver ones i showed you but they are this gorgeous light green and uh, it has that like fake snow like on it. Oh my goodness, you guys. You don't need to do anything. Just put this in a vase, honestly. I just think it's so absolutely stunning and gorgeous. I I'm telling you, that's why I took like five of them. I was just, yeah. Um, I got some poinsettias. It's just a basic thing. White poinsettias. Very basic. And then my favorite for this year. Now, I got some... Uh, I guess I want to say like a, a haul or two hauls back uh, and I think they were either left from last year or something but I got more of these berries 
I don't know if I'm going to use them this year or next year. Next year I'm going to do white and red Christmas trees. So I thought these would be so pretty like white with white and red because they are like bright red. They're not dark red. But still you guys look how pretty they are. They're just, just look at them and huge. Look how huge these are. Just wow you guys. Wow. I'm sorry I keep on looking on the side. I have a new camera so I'm not... Just give me... <laughs> Give me a little bit to adjust, you guys. So sorry about that. I'm usually better than that. But, um, yeah, so sorry for looking on the side a little bit. Okay, next, you guys. Next. Let me tell you. So, this ribbon, and, like, I would buy, and I would, like, use a little bit at a time because it's so expensive, like, at Michael's and Joan Craft. Look at this. This is what we got from the Dollar Tree. I'm sorry. I'm showing you. I kind of funny. So here's the blue one. It's basically deco mesh with snow on it. And these are so expensive. These guys are really expensive. And I'm so thrilled that Dollar Tree got them. You have no idea. I took, I'm sorry. I was greedy. I was very greedy. I took how many? Six of the white ones. I did. I felt like, you know, what are you gonna do? So I took six of the white ones and only three of the blue. You know, I wasn't that greedy, but um, because I this is I was in such shock. So you know what? Let me open one so you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't mean for this video to be running long, but come on, you guys, this is just incredible. Found the beginning of it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Okay, so if you're doing a red sign okay and here i'm just using my file effects planner and on a red sign it's not as you know um the maybe the more expensive ones they have bigger snowflakes or something but look look how gorgeous this is okay maybe this wasn't a good like sign like good way to show you but you guys this is amazing. This is like when I saw this, I'm like, Dollar Tree is seriously hooking us up. At least me. I was just so excited. Uh, some new deco mesh that I found was this um, uh, checkered uh, buffalo checkered print. You can see it well here. And so I just picked three of these up um, because the black is just if you're doing a mesh. You want, want, might want to do a contrast with a little bit of red at least. So that's why I bought, you know, because the black is just, you know, this is Christmas. It's not supposed to be, you know, dark and black. But I think we can still make it work with a little bit of red, maybe a little bit of white. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with it. So, yeah, I did pick a few white ones, uh, red ones, I mean, to go along with it. Um, then I picked up... This, you guys seen this, um, this, they've been having this for the last two, th two, three years. I want to say two at least. Um, and it's like that sheer, um, ribbon. They had one for, uh, Thanksgiving with leaves and stuff, but yeah, it has just blue snowflakes. You guys, I don't want to open it cause it's going to be all over. Okay. Next thing is ribbon. Many choices, you guys, and they're coming up with more. I really, the only thing I liked was this print. So I picked up four of these because when you're making ribbon, you need a lot of, you know, a lot of these. I wish they had more that would go with these for me, but that's all they had. So I took these and I took four of these and they're very nice. It's not white in the background with the green. It's more of an ivory, but still very pretty. Very pretty. All right. Then, of course, I had to pick up my favorite, favorite ribbon, which is the Grow Grain in the White. So I picked up three, oh, four, oh, five. Not even joking. Um, I use this a lot, a lot. And a lot of my projects, I absolutely, I, I love that pop of white. Then, uh, this is another restock uh, item, a burlap ribbon. I just bought two of these. You've seen these before. So I bought two, oh, three. 
And then I found these were new to me. They might not be new to you. I possibly saw these before, but they were new. And I almost, I really don't need them now, but I thought I'd show you guys. And eventually I'm sure I'll use it for a DIY. And it's these glam, glam, um, I guess glam ribbon. So they're like unicorn kind of sparkle. This one is like, what color is this? This one's like black, but it has like tones of purple and white iridescence kind of in there or like yellow gold iridescence. So, so, so gorgeous, you guys, like seriously gorgeous. This one is the white ivory beige one. So just shades of beige and ivory kind of like uh, peach color in there. So pretty, you guys. So super pretty. Then we have this kind of lilac and blue tones to it. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll show this one like this. Maybe you guys can see better. Yeah, that was the ivory one. Um, so like purple, blues, kind of pinks. Uh, and they're very, very pretty. If you're making something for your little girl, these two, the purple and the ivory, just stunning. And so this one is... I don't even know you guys it's like a gray uh, dusty velvet kind of so pretty it has like hints of, this one's like a true unicorn because it has the hints of like that sparkly lime green kind of like you know orangey uh, tones to them so pretty I, I hope you guys can see I don't know if my camera can focus on that but very pretty next I picked up See, I like, when I find a certain ribbon, I pick it up. And I must have had a DIY in mind when I picked these up. So, buffalo check in the background and snowflakes on top. And apparently, I took six. No clue why. I probably have a project in mind that I'm going to remember later. So, that's why I did that. Nadia. Um, so the next thing is this ribbon right here. So it's this thin kind of lace, not lace, the thin kind of like, I don't know, it looks like it would stretch, but this kind of wavy red ribbon. And sometimes when you're making something, you just need a hint of red here and there. And then this one has sequins throughout. And you know what? I have a... There's a green and a red, and I have this feeling... No, it doesn't have wire. I was hoping it would have wire, but it doesn't. So I have a green like that. Do you see the sequence? And exactly the same, except this is red. But this one's the green one. Very pretty, though, right? At first, I, you know, I used to not take so much green and red, but you know what? I end up using a green on St. Patrick's Day later on in spring and red on Valentine's, so that's all right. I'm looking around and I cannot believe I'm done with this haul. I got so many wonderful things and I cannot wait to start creating for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around, spending some time with me. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to this channel and love hauls, DIY crafting from the Dollar Tree, trash to treasure, that kind of stuff, consider subscribing. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Bye.